Hello, this is Antoine Walter. I'm the main developer of Anwiki. Anwiki is a multilingual wiki engine which can be downloaded at anwiki.com. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how easily multilingual contents can be created and translated using Anwiki. This is a fresh install of Anwiki. Before starting, we need to authenticate on Anwiki. Type my login, password, and now I'm logged in. A new content. All you have to do is to type the address for your new content. Example en slash cooking recipe. Now you just select the content language English and the content class. The content class defines the structure of the content. An example, news will give you a field for the publication date, for the news title, news introduction, news body, and news category. In this example, we'll use just the simple page content class. This content class has one field for the page title, one field for HTML head, and one field for HTML body. Ok, now the page is created. Just to check, we go on the sitemap and we see that the new content named Cooking Recipe is now created. I go back on Edit Mode and I tap some content for the page. I can preview my change and publish. As you can see, this page is only available in English for the moment. Now I want to create new translation. I click on new translation and I check for which language to create new translation. And I can give a name for each language. Now you can see that the French version is now available. I click on it and I see that nothing is translated. I click on the translate link. This is the on the fly translation tool, which allows to translate any content created with Enrique. Before starting, select your reference language. Here we select English. Now click on a sentence to translate it. Here I have the original value in English and I just have to type my French translation. Then I click on the next sentence and I translate it. I can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Enter to go to the next translation. When you have done, just save your change. As you can see, the French version is now translated. You can switch between English and French version by clicking here. Back to the English version. As you can see, we have three items in the list of the requirements. Let's see what happens if I add another requirement. I'm going back to the edit mode and I'm adding another item in the list. I save my change and let's see what happens with the French version. As you can see, the new item has been automatically added to the French version backed as untranslated. If you are going on the untranslated page, you can see that the page is listed as not fully translated. I'm clicking on it and I just go back in translation mode and type my new translation. And I'm done. 
Thanks to AutoSync feature, you can very easily refactor the content structure without affecting transition. In example, I change all HTML type. And I move some content. And I delete something. I save. Now look at the French version. No one translation was lost. I hope this screencast has shown how easy it is to create multilingual content, to translate it, and to keep it synchronized. Everyone who has ever been in charge of a multilingual website knows how hard it is to keep translations up to date. With Heinrichi, translations are automatically synchronized when something changes, so translations can get outdated. So, if you are dealing with static or dynamic multilingual websites, wikis, documentations, or any structured content like translations files, give it a try. Download it at enwiki.com.